Hello and welcome back. Where's my husband? <laughs> Hello, <Welcome> everybody. <laughs> and today it's completely different. It's again a skincare product, but you can use it as a lotion or skin um, lotion, your skincare lotion for your normal body. And which is important, you can use it for your feet, right? Because the feet, from my own experience, you like to go to the manicure, get nice nails, and sometimes you go to the pedicure, which is the feet, and it's kind of embarrassing, I would say, because most of the time our feet are in shoes, so they are not on the air and kind of not, yeah, I would say from my own experience, we don't take so often care about the feet like we do for the skin in your face and your body, but that's what I said, maybe we should try to do a lotion, a body lotion, a balm, which is for your normal body, normal, there's no abnormal body, <laughs> and for your feet, because most of the time the feet, as I said, they are not, yeah, they are covered in the shoes. Um, okay, Ken has no shoes on right now. When I get home from work, the first thing I do, I take off my shoes. I just love socks. That's good enough for me. Yeah, but socks. Working all day on cement floors and everything really, well, maybe it's my age, but yeah, <laughs> really hurts the feet. So they need relaxation. They need relaxation because um, yeah, as Ken said, you're coming ho home from work and walking the whole day and your feet are burning and uh, yeah, heart burning. They, they need some, they need some love. They need some love. And that's why um, we want to share with you today. And we call it foot balm because as I said, that is the main focus right now. Foot balm. What? Foot balm. It what? sounds like you're saying food bomb. <laughs> <sighs> foot balm. Yep. Okay. Fußball <laughs> no. um, So what we are using here is I completed already um, infused oil and I infused the oil, olive oil, of course, with different kind of herbs. I infused them. Um, this oil is infused with peppermint, lavender, marigold, rose petals, and did I say yarrow? No, and yarrow. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five herbs infused in olive oil and after yeah you know it already four to six weeks in darkness and shake it every day open the dark the dark spot like your cupboard or your whatever room is dark and say hello and go ahead and shake it and talk to them this is the infused oil i made for this product so and then we need this is the infused oil and as i said you have to make it before and it takes oh it's not cold it's coming. <laughs> um, it's not made in two days. So you have to give yourself the time to get the infused oil. Beside 100 grams of the infused oil, you need, and I have the double amount. If it's too much for you, just reduce it. So 20 gram castor oil, and then we have 20 gram cocoa butter, and we have 60 gram of, I always say shea butter. I don't even know if this is the right pronunciation. It's called shea butter. Yeah? Shea butter, yeah. Shea, okay. If not, um, pardon me. <laughs> and then we have here, you can see it because it's not so much. I have 10 drops of germanium and 10 drops of lemon essential oil, organic, as you know. And I also have two drops of vitamin E. Vitamin E is to keep um, the product, yeah, to give the product a longer shelf life. So vitamin E, just two drops. And then we, on the we are on the safe side, I want to say. My double broiler mm -hmm, is ready for me. So, first of all, the infused oil. Oh, Ken, you have to go to the fridge, please, and bring me the product. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the castor oil. The cocoa butter. It's so hot over there. It's already melting. The shea butter or sheep, sheep butter, shea butter. I don't know. I have to figure it out. But you know, sometimes my pronunciation is different. So. Here we go. No. I thought you wanted the water. <laughs> Here we wow. Go. <laughs> A little choker. <laughs> <clears throat> um, now we have to wait until everything, you know, that when you make some creams uh, to combine, it takes a while. I just want to put it down to medium. Otherwise, it's too hot. So we put all the ingredients together. And as I said, it's moisturizing your 
feet. I always say your foot, but your feet, you have two. Normally you have two, right? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, what are you doing? And the best thing is you do it before you go to bed. So it's overnight um, helping your feet. Um, you put the cream or the balm, as you will see in a minute, you put it on your feet or you don't see my feet. <laughs> And one tip, don't put it between your toes, because if you put the balm between your toes and this can give, how do you say it will be kind of wetness? Yeah, you would start sweating between the toes and that could cause a fungus. So you don't want that to happen. So you just put it on the bottom of your feet and on the side where you have the, the thick skin and everything, your heels. Yeah, but do not put it between your toes. And as we said earlier, it's helping to refresh tired and burning feet and it will strengthen the skin and makes it soft. Dry, cracked skin needs daily moisturizing. So if you want to ask how often you should do that, I would say every time when you go to bed on a daily basis. And I would say after a week latest, you will see or you feel that your skin is getting soft and your feet are not hurting so much anymore. Of course, after 10, 10 hours or 8 hours walking on, as Ken said, on a 7 uh, cement floor cement floor it doesn't matter what kind of shoes what how much money you invest in good shoes um, or insoles it's hurting and in our age yeah of course it's hurting even more so this is now melted and then we can put in the the essential oils and the one drop of vitamin e what happened now with this you have to put this in a different pot and put it for about not when it's burning hot uh, put it for two hours in the fridge and why because in the fridge it will if it's coming out of the what are you doing now i'll take this for you well that's hot where do you want to do it where do you want to put it in the fridge and then you can put that put put it on the side not in the okay. fridge it's right now it's boiling okay. or boiling it looks like <laughs> um <laughs> that's what it looks like yeah i don't want to say the color reminds me of no because that's nasty golden golden exactly golden so um now this is how it looks like after about two hours i even have a three hours now in the fridge and now this is not strong enough <laughs> now just go ahead and loose it from the side from the bowl make it a little bit smooth i hope it works i haven't done it before so, and then, it's telling me it would work with this. I'm not sure, otherwise I, I take the other tool I have here. See, it's getting smooth and creamy. It's like making a cake. <laughs> oh, it's almost like whipped cream. Woo! This was not what I wanted to. <laughs> it almost looked like what? Whipped cream. Again, whipped cream, not white cream. What I said by accident in the last video. We made our body wash, right? Mm -hmm. So now try to get all the goodies out. Don't waste anything. I wouldn't. So, and in the last video, Ken was asking, may you remember? Um, if we cannot use glass instead of plastic. And I said, yes, we can. And now we made the decision that we are switching to glass jars. And that way we can recycle it all the time. You can always make yourself a new batch and reuse it. Clean it, reuse it. Put it in the dishwasher. Perfect. And we are, these are the two ounce. And we will also switch the one ounce. Would you just give me one tin from the creams? Yeah, the little ones. We will switch these tins to one ounce glass tins as well, because first of all, I agree, Ken, it looks more posh. <laughs> um, okay, this is now two ounce and this is one, but the one ounce are in my office down there. So this will be in glass as well. Of course, we have to go a little bit higher with the price, but it's not much. So let's go back here to our food cream. And now you can fill it up in your one ounce, two ounce, whatever you need or what you think you need in your family um, on cream. And this, where's the camera? This is the finished product. If you wanna, Ken, you wanna try it? <laughs> we try it on our skin, right? So it's nice and soft. 
And of course, it's hot in here. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Isn't that lovely? <laughs> it makes very soft. I could say that. Well, and maybe and it'll help with good. your hands too. I'm sure. Or maybe, <clears throat> yeah, here, because I just put it over my tattoo and that's an old tattoo. But may you have a new tattoo so you can put a little bit um, very good, very nice. moisturizing on it. Um, yeah, I think it's cool, right? Yeah, especially the in the nail beds. If you have dried out nail beds, I would try that on your fingers. I mean, not right now. It's still, you know what I mean? It's still freaking hot outside, but I'm sure the window is coming without even having a fall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we have all the dry hands and as Ken said, the nails and all this. So, yeah, I think we can use it, as I said earlier, as a normal body lotion to keep you moisturized. Oh, I like it. <laughs> now you have to look at me and how I'm using it. But I will definitely use it on my feet as well. And if you like a different, uh, I always say smell, no, um, aroma. Aroma. Um, you can put different essential oils in it. We have here right now the geranium and lemon, but you can also put in lavender, peppermint, whatever you like. So it's not written in stone that you have to take geranium and lemon. Yeah, and you can you leave it neutral if you don't want to have well, a certain exactly smell. Nothing in it. Some people don't like going out and smelling like flowers or, you know, <laughs> no, I understand that. Or like they just came from the kitchen, you know. Oh, I work, worked with basil all day. Oh, well, now I smell like basil. No. <laughs> no. So, yeah, you can keep it neutral or... Up to you. Up to your taste and what you really like. Or as Ken said, even put nothing in it. So it, it's neutral and it doesn't smell at all. And here as well, it's always you have to press it in that the air is going out. That you don't have the air bubbles in there. It even looks like vanilla ice cream. <laughs> All right, so enough, I would say. We are fully creamed. <laughs> and later on, I will definitely try this with my feet because, as I said, I should more taking care about my feet, but they are most of the time in shoes. And Again, altogether, it didn't take more than 15 minutes. Of course, you have to wait the four to six weeks and the for two, the infuse. And two hours. And two hours in the refrigerator. But otherwise, it's fairly fast made. Yeah. Please do not forget to label them. You don't want the kids getting to them. Think it did something sweet yeah i don't have the labels yet but i will make them later on down in the office yeah. um and put them on the lid but i think it's a nice and even when you close it put the label on top and i think it would be even a nice christmas present yeah it's not so far away and maybe it's something you want to think about it right or halloween ha halloween's coming first so what these ones do with halloween? these ones do have special lids on them where you could take like this and put it on top like that and it's an uh, additional seal. Yep. There we go. Now, of course, I have all greasy fingers. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, mm. everything is greasy. Buttered. But butter. Buttered. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we think it's it's a nice um, skincare product. And if you like it or you have any additional question, uh, if you don't want to use cocoa butter or shea butter, and if there is an alternative, please let us know and we can find it out for you. And again, it's organic. So there is nothing in there which shouldn't be in there and harm your skin or your feet. We had the last time a question about, what was it, about coconut oil that we use that it could get in the drain and stuff the drain up. Well, <clears throat> we use a liquid coconut, okay, and that does not, it stays liquid. And, and it's called fra fractionated? Fractionated. Fra Fraction <laughs> fractionated. Yeah, there was a lot of people, they put the comments in, yeah, but it will block a clock, the drain, and like, what are you talking about? And I wrote it a couple of times. No, this is liquid. This coconut. Oh, it was with the body soap. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. It's liquid and it stays liquid. Yeah. So it will not harden out. And you wash yourself with warm water, which keeps it flowing all the time too. It's not a grease that it'll, when it gets cold, it'll clump up. That's important. That's why you shouldn't put something like this down your drain either. If, if you don't like a batch or something, just put it in your trash can. But of course. Or compost. Or compost. But certain things you just don't put in the drain. All right. That's understandable. I think you stay here. That's yep, it. That's, that's it. it for today. Um, yeah. Thank you for um, watching us. Like. <laughs> and subscribe. Subscribe for the next video. To our YouTube channel. And uh, 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 uh. Right. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I'm your master herbalist. And I cannot and I will not give you any medical advice. I know it's skincare products, but we want to um, protect ourselves. And that's why we think it's important that we repeat ourselves or I repeat myself over and over and over. All right. So 
write us down below some suggestions what you think would be a good idea for us to show you to make. Maybe you have an idea there, or maybe you heard something from your grandmother or something she used to make this. Let us know about it. We'll try to after make it. We'll okay. do our research on it and see what we can turn out of it. Yeah, okay. okay. It's ready enough right now here again yep. without the AC on. Till then. Love, love and light. light. Ken and Ute, Ute. <laughs> von Ute's Urban Corner. Bye-bye. <laughs> ciao, ciao.